Hi there, welcome to this tutorial from reviews.com where we learn about a uh, simple concept in constructors called constructor chain. So we know uh, what a constructor is. A constructor is something which is used to create a class. So what does constructor chaining mean? I mean, uh, what's chain? Chain is a set of links from one to another. That's basically what chaining is. So basically the constructor chaining comes into picture when we have a inheritance, when we have a subclass superclass relationship. For example, let's just say uh, we have a small example here. We have a class superclass. So there's a class which is called superclass. I'm using a few inner classes here, but it's just to make it easy for you to look at the code entirely. Uh, it's not really ideal to use inner classes for this purpose, but yeah, let's just say there's a class by the name superclass and there is a subclass which extends this. So subclass extends superclass. So the uh, subclass extends the superclass. Superclass has a variable name. I mean, has a local instance variable called name. Uh, uh, yeah, ideally this should have been a private variable. There should be a getter and setter. Yeah, I'm just ignoring all the conventions just to make keep the examples very simple. So I have a, a superclass with an instance variable called name, and there's a constructor. So the constructor of the superclass takes name. Uh, as uh, one of the parameters or the arguments. So this superclass can be created by in a very simple way. So if I want to create an instance of the superclass, I can just say superclass, superclass is equal to new superclass. So it's as simple as this. Obviously it won't accept because I have created a constructor, so I have to give it name. So I give a name Ritus. So now this helps us create a superclass. Now what we are doing here is we are creating a subclass extending the superclass. So we are creating a subclass extending the superclass, and this subclass has an instance variable value. So this subclass has an instance variable. This is an integer, and it could have been anything. Uh, here I have an integer. It's called value. And you'd see that the subclass is accepting two parameters. So it's accepting name. Actually, the name is from the superclass. So the name is uh, the value. The value of the name I would want to actually store in the superclass and the value. So what I would do here is do super and pass the name. So the subclass is calling the superclass constructor and passing a parameter name. So basically this method, this constructor, sorry, I, uh, yeah, constructor is also another method, but this constructor is called from the subclass constructor and I'm passing the parameter as name. And then I'm setting the value to value. So this is what is called chaining. So what I'm doing here is from the subclass constructor, I'm calling a superclass constructor. So here, if you look at the constructor of the subclass, this is setting the value of its own instance variables and also it's setting the values of the instance variables of the superclass. So this chaining is a very important concept, especially when you have the inheritance relationship. So you have a chain of classes inheriting one another and then you have a chain of constructor calls in the reverse. So that's basically what is called Constructor chaining. I've written a small JUnit test here to for the constructor chaining. If you look at it, it just creates. I'll remove this. So what we are doing is we are creating an instance of the subclass and passing the name as sample and the value as ten. And if you run this JUnit, you would see that it succeeds because the value of uh, the subclass and the superclass would be set to. I mean, the value of the name, which is the variable which is present in the instance variable in the superclass and the value which is the instance variable in the subclass would be properly set. Uh, one thing I reiterate that I, it's not ideal to have uh, public variables like name and value. I'm just keeping it simple uh, without the getters and setters. So just to illustrate the concept, 
and this won't be a real good code to write. So with that aside, uh, the concept of chaining is to call a superclass constructor from a subclass and that's what we are doing in this particular line of code. So there we go. That's basically what constructor chaining is all about. If you like this video, show it by clicking like or commenting or sharing this video. We are creating more videos on varied range of topics as we speak. Subscribe to stay updated. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.